It's time to do 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 I'm drafting every set with four of my stupidest friends. We'll ban cards as we go. Now let's rip off Simo's show. Welcome to another episode of Progression Playoff. Look at this, I look like a mafioso. Sorry about the light. Uh, at about 4 p.m. daily, this is what my face looks like. It's just the way my blinds are set up. I can't fix it. And unfortunately, it's the only time I have available. Hopefully these lines will disappear and make me look less like an anime antagonist. Probably in about an hour. Hmm. Today we're doing Dark Crisis. Now, Dark Crisis is a very interesting set. I actually just wrapped History of Yu-Gi-Oh! playing exactly this. And what I learned is that, at low rarity, there is very little worth considering. I think Guardians is the sub-theme for this pack, and I'm not super excited to be playing any of those cards. As a result, our deck isn't likely to get much better. That's bad news. Everyone else's deck is already much better than ours, and while I think we've been playing okay, we are in the loser's loser's seat. Now don't worry, I sent out the bat signal and I got a lot of help from my viewership at twitch.tv slash mbtyugioh this past week. You all helped me put together the best deck we could possibly make given the cards that we currently own. I just hope that it'll be enough. Ideally, we're looking for something to supplement our deck, and we're hoping that everyone else's pulls are pretty bad. But that means that we're in exactly the same position we've always been. Let's open some Dark Crisis. Ooh, a couple of interesting things here. Outstanding Dog Marin is kind of like Sword of Deep Seated, and Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow was semi-limited in GOAT format, so it might be playable. This is the first pack where we get sort of a warrior sub-theme, though we don't have any of the good really uh, strong payoffs yet. I'll definitely be playing Sasuke Samurai number two. And here come the Archfiends. Archfiends is the other sub-theme in the set, and they are interesting. Many of them are very strong, and in order to facilitate them, we're looking to find the normal monster at rare with 1900 attack, and maybe like some falling down. Other than that, there's not too much to play. Wow, these have been some bad packs. We're looking for like KC Ojama Trio stuff, but all we're finding is Incandescent Ordeal. Oh boy, Sukiyomi! Well, we're definitely going to be playing that card. There's our first final attack orders. If we can find some skill drain, we might be in on this deck. Uh, that's what I played for history. Jesus, 10 packs in and nothing. There's a falling down. It's a start. Ooh, a second final attack orders and a skill drain. That's really strong, but I'm concerned that we don't have any of the really powerful enablers just yet. Oh, thank God. Okay, we finally have a good beater in Archfiend Soldier. Let's get a couple more. There's Falling Down. Okay, there's the third final attack orders. Ooh, there's Gravity Axe Grarl. So we may be playing this card just because it is a really, really good way to additionally finagle out and out to main deck Book of Moons, turn off Pac-Man. It just has a lot of utility, and it's a decent enough equip spell. <gasps> oh, shoot! Dark Master Zork! This is a really powerful card, and we've pulled a couple of his ritual spell, but we'd need at least one more before I'd consider playing him. Oh. Final countdown, huh? All right. Dark Flare Knight is a nice pickup for Magical Scientist, but we need Mirage Knight for it to really work out. Yikes. Well, Kaiser Glider is a really good card, but wow, this is a... Uh... This is not good. I'm a little frightened, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, boy. You can see that we opened very few Archfiends. So Archfiend Soldier, of course, we found enough copies of, but I don't think that's enough to facilitate falling down. We were also looking for, like, the 2000 attack point monster, the 1900 attack point monster, and I think we may have found one of those total. Other than that, we got a lot of really strong conditional cards, things like Contract with Exodia, which are good in dedicated constructed decks, but terrible in limited. I guess we've got Final Countdown, but I struggle to think what we could get going with that. 
Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. We didn't even find more than one skill drain, so if we wanted to go in on big bunguses, that might even be not particularly strong. Well, we'll see what we can throw together. Okay, uh, oh boy. This isn't pretty. You'll notice we're only playing two cards that we open today, dual copies of Archfiend Soldier. That's because I think more important than the cards we opened this time are the hidden gems that were already lurking in my collection. My viewership was very specific about the cards I should be playing, and I'm happy to say I have caved to their advice. We're playing King Tiger Wangu Control with a bunch of recruiters. Now you might be thinking, Joseph, why are you playing recruiters in the same deck as the card that turns off all recruiters? Well, it's simple. If we have King Tiger Wangu, we're probably winning the game anyway. We can use the recruiters as material for something like a Dark Core, which gets around my body as a shield, or Raigeki Break, which pops spells and traps, and there are many must-answer spells and traps this format. <sighs> this is about as decent as a good stuff control deck can be given the cards that we pulled. You'll note we didn't find a single Sakuretsu armor, so should we lose our first game, I know what I will probably be banning. We didn't find any of the really powerful synergies that would enable extremely strong tribal decks. Instead, we basically just have to play this and hope for the best. I'd hoped for maybe additional copies of Skill Drain, and then I could do the final Attack Orders deck, but looking back, all we really have for that are two copies of Giant Orc. I don't think we even pulled a Goblin Attack Force. This is what we have, we will make it work, and then potentially we'll ban out all the cards that are better than us. So let's do the card by card. We're on two copies of Apprentice Magician. This card is absolutely bonkers in our deck. The one thing we do have going for us is that our spells and traps are way better than everyone else's. For that reason, we can get Magical Merchant in order to accelerate to them, or if we need removal, we can get Old Vindictive Magician. Next, we've got Exiled Force, which we can get off of Giant Rat. Giant Rat also gets Injection Fairy Lily, our secret rare that has gone unnoticed so far. We've got two copies of Hysteric Fairy in case Gavin is on some sort of burn. Again, 1800 is a pretty substantial attack point value. I think the only thing that we could potentially be playing over it is Gaga Gigo, and I'm not too excited to do that. We've got Triple King Tiger Wangu, this is our main beater, and I know that a format full of Skill Drain is not particularly friendly to this card, but we're just gonna have to hope for the best. We're on two copies of Magical Scientist, we have a pretty sweet extra deck in terms of cards that can take things. We unfortunately don't have a Thousand Eyes Restrict, but we have everything else. We've got a Mystic Tomato, which can go into a Sangen or a Spirit Reaper, and our beater sweet Zombie of the Dark and Double Archfiend Soldier. They almost look like the same guy when you go really fast. For spells, we're on Triple Book of Moon, which gets way worse in this set with Final Attack Orders and Guardian Axe Grarl, but I'm playing it regardless. We've got two copies of Dark Core, two copies of My Body as a Shield to protect against Sakuretsu Armor, Nobleman of Crossout, Double Pot of Greed, a copy of Premature Burial, Swords of Revealing Light, Double Bottomless, and Triple Raigeki Break. So... I'm not super excited about this deck. I don't think it's much better than what my opponents have planned, but I expect that my opponent's decks will not be as tuned by virtue of playing too many new cards going in on new strategies, and that our deck will benefit from a familiarity with both the cards as well as the strategy. At least that's what I'm telling myself before we get wiped by Brant round one. All right, well, uh, we are here. It is week one. This is the match of the giant losers who are bad at Yu-Gi-Oh! And unsurprisingly, I am represented, as is Brent. Brent, are you ready to kick me into the sun, brother? I'm fishing for a fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm fishing for a fight, brother. Uh, I, I don't like my deck. I'm playing very little from the new set. I will be sad if you lose this one because there's no justice in the world if you don't. Oh, well, okay. RPS, looking good already. <laughs> yes. Ha ha ha. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That's exactly what I want to see. That's an amount of monsters that I'm very happy to see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and set pass, and you are good to go, Brent. <laughs> He's looking through the window sideways. <laughs> Pot of Greed. Oh. Must be nice. Yeah, go ahead. Good That's a good start. start. That's okay. I can't really be mad. When are we banning Pot of Greed, by the way? Yeah, I don't know. Like to a see guy. a band at some point. You're doing it right now. Well, listen, I didn't pull any Sakuretsu armors, so someone else might have to take up the mantle. <laughs> Imagine oh. banning creature hate. This post brought to you by Gavin Gang. Oh Jonah, shit! Red he's on it! Oh, oh yeah. Wait, yeah, I actually I actually don't know if he's on it. <laughs> is it yeah. skill drain or is it archfiends or is it just he's playing this 2000 attack monster with downside all right it's i'm gonna activate good. the effect of magical sure. merchant there we go well yeah, wow <laughs> not a single whiff so the Archfiends all have an extremely annoying effect. The controller pays a bunch of life points during their standby phases, and I like that it has in parentheticals, this is not optional. Just like, no, I won't pay. Uh, and then 
Each one also has the ability, when it is targeted, to roll a six-sided die, and if it comes up a certain number, that effect is negated. Uh, this one is a four-star with 2,000 attacks, so its additional downside is that it can't deal a lot of battle damage to opponents. Yeah, the downside is that all battle damage is halved. Oh my Oh fun. my god, we're still Here. on light, too. Light of intervention! Wow, that Go is obscene. Holy guacker moly. Really good when Joe has magical merchant in the deck. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to normal summon magical scientist. Oh, Ooh. I guess. Ooh. And then we'll activate the effect of magical scientist. Yes! Mirage Knight. Is this wow. okay? Wow. Mirage Knight. Do you, do you think I have Mirage Knight? That's the first question. I'm I'm deciding if I want to go for another thousand because like if you have there's no way you have removal for two cards but you might for one I'll do it Probably. again I'm gonna pay another thousand hell yeah let's go <laughs> living on the edge get it's out kind of sweet that Dark Flare Knights at twenty two hundred that's actually a big improvement over the twenty one hundred ones since it can now trade with various things and like. Now it beats Zambara the Dark instead of trading with Zambara the Dark. So I want you not to take life points from this, uh, but to feel as if the Empress is judging you. Uh, that's the purpose <laughs> of this of this attack. And right, we're going to set one more card and proceed to end phase, and back to the extra they go. All right. I love so, Magical Scientist, dude. He's it's so, so cool. He's limited. so fucking cool. It's so cool. He's so oh. awesome. Yeah, I agree. He's he's so cool. Cool. Well, uh, I will activate Bottomless Trap Hole. Yeah, well, we knew that was coming. Happy that I pulled a lot of this card, and it's actually going to matter. Um, this is the format in which everyone's playing big donkuses, correct? So, Brent, you are activating Archfiend's Roar for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Joe, what does this card do? Wow, I'm glad you asked. Archfiend's Roar is a trap card, oh so God. it would be foolish to Raigeki break it. Uh, it allows you to pay 500 life points and then target an Archfiend in your graveyard, special it, and it can't be tributed so that you can't get Jinzo. I don't know. So All does right. it stay on the field the whole time? No, I'm glad you asked. During the end phase of this turn, it will be destroyed. Ah, thank you. Battle phase. Run yes. over. <laughs> okay, I'll take 17. No, wait. Shadow Knight Archfiend deals half damage, so I'll take half of 17. 850. You all seem very excited about this. <laughs> Uh, okay. I see that you've ended your turn, right. and now it's my turn. I'll draw. <laughs> Listen, Brent, I love your Archfiends. I'm going to have to meet you with my own. It's Archfiend Shoulder, Let's baby. Go. Let's get in. Let's get in. I finally have Gemini finally, Elf after 10,000 years. 1900 vanilla beater. For me Man. specifically. Everyone else has it already. No, I pulled zero of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no right, response. I'm just gonna do that. Yep. Try. Okay. Yes. A oh. play. You, th play. you think your Archfiend Soldier is gonna beat me? Wrong, oh buddy. It's time for me to normal summon another Archfiend Soldier. Oh my <laughs> yep. You have you have no chance to defeat my fucking soldier. <laughs> Why does it feel like we've regressed? like four packs i know <laughs> last last set we were doing like balls to the wall magician combos this set we've just been like big bungus bigger bungus bigger bungus this bungus is pretty big oh falling oh, no. down oh god oh now i gotta the think. falling down is an arch fiend only snatch steal um, but you lose the life points instead of your opponent gaining the life points and you have to control an arch fiend hysterically Taking control of Archfiend Soldier with falling down means that even if the other Archfiend dies, since he's a soldier, Brent will still control it. Uh, I'm gonna break, and I'm, I have to decide okay. which one I'm gonna break. I'm so glad I mean, Brent is playing. I'm gonna Archfiends. break. I'm gonna break falling down. Yeah. Oh my okay. god! This card yeah, that is the course. correct way. That's the correct option. At the standby phase, I'll pump Archfiend to uh, 1900. Sure. Oh, go ahead. So this ability is, uh, as long as it remains on the field during each standby phase, increase the attack of one Archfiend monster by a thousand points until the end phase. So it effectively becomes the same size as Soldier. It's what Infernal Queen does. All right. I'm going to a normal summon a giant rat. Wow. Yep. But we're not done yet. Oh, I'm going to activate yeah. Premature Burial. Ooh. Oh, man, I forgot you had that card, honestly. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll get Archfiend Soldier. Mm -hmm. Battle phase. Attack my Archfiend Soldier. Hey! 
Hey! Oh, just like that. Oh, uh, strange uh, game. Uh, game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Very strange game. Gross. Uh, that was just good stuff. There were there were no interesting plays that entire game. I apologize. All right, Leah. I hope you wore your interaction pants today. Are we wait? Are we actually interacting, or are you going to activate Final Countdown on turn one? Now notice, Gavin said, "I hope you are wearing your interaction pants." I think Gavin is <laughs> pantsless, no underwear, <laughs> dick out, uh, four yep. wave motion cannons. Gavin just sitting there going, yes, ha, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, can you confirm, deny, are you the individual on the sickos meme? We have to ask Gavin's you not brainworm. the perennial question. Are you playing bullshit? I am playing bullshit. Yes, let's yes. go. Yes. All right, Leah, it's I your job to stop it. him. It's your job to stop right, him. Well, all right, well, I have terrible news for everyone, which is that I have exactly yeah. what I need. Woo. The worst one in the game by a lot. Please fucking ban it at last. Oh, if you roll a six, um, you don't get to do it. Okay, right, that doesn't tell us the anything. Other one. Okay, right. that doesn't tell us anything. No despair from the dark. Forceful yeah. century. Oh! oh, Leah, you're not playing ban, you, ban, Leo? ban, Ooh. ban. A war uh, get rid of um pot of grief. What is spell book or? Okay, so <gasps> the, the hand is Royal Magical Library, Pot of Greed, Spell Book Organization. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Return them to the top in any order. It is Pot of Greed that Wait, I'm Wait, sorry. Back. Spell book or organization is a spell book card. It used to be called Pigeonholing Book of Spell. But for some reason, they changed the name of it, like, 10 years after it was printed. Oh, it, that's interesting, um, because we have some eroded names, like Summon Skull was named Archfiend of Lightning. And the way they got around it was they just put up a post online that was like, hey, just so you know, Summon Skull is an Archfiend. All right. I wondered why uh, that was, like, drilled into my head. I will, um, let's see here. I'll set and set another one and pass it back. Let's go. Well, uh, four cards versus three. Damn, um, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I, I knew that this would happen at some point, that I would open the Nuts discard hand. Um, yeah, and I mean. it's just been a matter of time until I find it. Well, I'm glad uh, that we can Zimbira. all stand united against your bullshit. Yeah. I know, I agree. The Zimbiro's off? Yep. All right, I'll flip up New Doria. God yep. dang. All right, battle phase. Let's kill... Okay. Oh. All um just my body. Oh my god, she had everything. All right, let's kill Royal Magical and then hit for twelve. Okay, well Gavin's in top deck mode. Whatever it is, it's got to be good I, enough to do off so the top. So I drew a, I apparently drew a Gavin hand. Mm -hmm. That was insane. <laughs> like a Gavin I, Knox I, quality hand. That's a sweet uh, okay. rip. Oh, that yeah, oh. Zambira's a nineteen. Good. Are you killing Zambira? Mm -hmm. Let's normal um another. Uh, New Doria. Okay. Set Not the most threatening board. It's actually Any 2k two... defender. It, de it depends on what it's Gavin's playing. Out. Right? Like, this is hard to out if you're trying to attack to win, but if you're Gavin and trying to Royal Magical Library, it's actually super fine. This is less Gavin fine. Knight Archfiend, and I'll attack with uh, everything. Oh, that is not happening. All right, last um, turn, Gavin. Let's see it. Uh, pass it back. We got Are we banning to Link oh. with Duo, Gavin? No, we have to. Whoa! We have to. No. Forceful. I, just, I, fuck, I fucked up and I didn't play the despair deck. It's fine. Gavin. So uh, I guess we should start with a quick moment of silence. Um, what the fuck? Jesus. Yeah, so you know? Leah correctly pointed out um, after we turned off recording that this will be Gavin's first time ever banning a cart. Uh. I, I would, if I were in Gavin's shoes, have a hard time not hitting exactly Delinquent Duo. <laughs> I hate I this fucking shit, dude. We gotta hit Pot of oh, Greed, yeah. too. Yep. Alright, now... Yeah. Pot go at some point. Time yeah, for a nice, sprightly game against the winner of last week. Uh, should be pretty easy. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling today, Danny? You ready to kick my teeth in? I, you know, I hope so. Uh, nothing makes me happier than kicking Fuck your you. stupid teeth in. <laughs> are, okay, so I have to ask you, are you playing something interesting, or are we just going to be throwing rocks at each other? Um, it depends on what I draw, but mostly throwing rocks at <laughs> An, each other. Again, just, I love the number of monsters I've drawn. It's just really good. <laughs> Danny, um, so are you on Cosma this week? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. So I'm going to summon, um, you know, tin can first and then go off. I actually don't like tin can opens in a uh, 2003 format. I know. <laughs> it's just not very strong. Any card from Cosmo would just break our brains in 2003. <laughs> like... Absolutely. Are we getting the el set the elusive three. set three pass? No, no. Boo. Set five pass? Oh! Set, set six? Uh, yeah. Now, we've seen you do the set four pass, correct? That was how you beat Leah. Yes, I went, no, I, yeah, I went set five. It was so good. I had one card in hand. It was the most <laughs> skillful play in all of the series so far. Unironically, you, it, it may have I, been. Danny definitely has the most big brain moments. Well, um, unless you count anything uh, decks, which is pretty big brain. Anything in standby? No, you're good. Foolish Daniel, your set card will be your undoing. I activate the Nobleman of Crossout. Oh, get him out of here. Right. Pretty good. Um, just a friendly tomato. It's a tomato. Go. Okay. You can't possibly defeat my set card. My set card defies all explanation, and you're gay. That you know that is true. Yes. Uh, ha -ha. Gearfried. Yes. Yeah. Gearfried's fine. All right, I am going to flip summon Magical Merchant. I will skill drain. I figured. There's no way you would do it that way unless you had the skill drain. Oh, skill drain. Oh, yeah. I think I'm okay with this. Skill drain's pretty bad for me. My deck is like, it really wants to use effects, but it's not the end of the world if it's not able to. I'm going to normal summon an Archfiend Soldier. Yeah, and here comes the bottomless. All right. Uh, well, uh, go go ahead. At least you have the soldiers, which are, like, pretty good under skill drain. I have decent beaters. I mean, I would be lying if I said I wasn't prepared for this deck, right? Like, and if yeah. there's one person who is going to play it, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, it was going to be Danny. Um, he, he has, I think, the highest concentration of just guys being dudes. But uh, this hand is not particularly conducive to actually winning. Guys being dudes. Just guys being dudes. What could be better than this? My deck is literally half uh spell cards and i can't draw one to save my god dang life all right please walk into this <laughs> uh i guess so i have to all right it is apprentice like magician tomato. okay okay it's That's kind of pretty good for Jim. all right um, i'm gonna get yeah. another apprentice magician and thankfully they are summoned in face down defense position yeah, so just for those curious, because you may not be aware of this, but skill drain only affects monsters that are face up on the field. So any recruiter or anything that floats has its effect trigger in the graveyard, which is why Apprentice Magician still activates. You ready for this, idiot? Ooh. <laughs> can you defeat my magical scientist? Oh, I, I don't the know 300, if I can. The 300 attack beater we've always wanted. Yeah. Holy shit, look at these rips! <laughs> I'm I'm so tilted. I I can't describe how tilted I am. I I would be tilted if I were you too. Especially I bet. now that I drew this card. Oh, goody. All right, it's magical oh, merchant. Yes. I don't have any others. Any more? No. You got uh, any? Uh no, I do not. You want to see? I would like to. Danny's got the oh, three geez. merchants in his skill drain deck. <laughs> uh, I mean, holy shit, Danny. <laughs> Your deck right, is insane. I didn't change much. <laughs> All right, so either Danny has multiple skill drains, which I assume that he does, so there's another one set, which sucks ass for me. Um, but he's playing Triple Giant Orc. Uh, he's playing Dark Elf, Lava Golem. It looks like he's got at least two Sakuretsu armors, so that's what the third card could be. Double Book of Moon. This is just, like, really quality good stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have, like, a dark hole or anything, so I'm not super scared. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll go to battle. Yeah. Debate tribe effects. Actually, I'm sorry. I, I won't I won't do that, actually. I think I'll just win instead. Yeah, I expected. Uh, Regeki break is fine, and then, uh, you have got it! Uh, I drew one non-creature <laughs> spell this entire game in my 20 spell trap deck. Oh, uh, very, yeah, very sucks. cool. Awesome. Ah, oh, well. Uh, it happens. Uh, your deck is much, much better than mine, so I'm not too beat up about losing to it. <laughs> well, folks, right, it is Danny. time for finals. <gasps> well, here I go. I cannot wait to be duo sentry, just like Gavin. Right I really hope game. I do, just so that it's completely unambiguous what the bans are. No, no, no. Yeah. Gavin, Gavin is banning. He's going to ban, like, uh, fucking 
uh, magical merchant or something. You know that Gavin's gonna pull a crazy ass ban out of his b hole. He can. It's it's his ban. And it doesn't matter, you... by the way. Uh, next set is going to ruin Yu-Gi-Oh. Hell yeah. Uh, do you have comments on this, Gavin? I I'm gonna ban a card. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I all bet. Right. That's what I like to hear. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll activate Force Will Send You. Hey, <laughs> and here I am, sure. getting older all the time. All right, so it is Sakuretsu Armor, Ring of Destruction, Nobleman of Extermination. Oh, we should uh, we should ban is Ring. A good card this set, and Dark Hole. Yeah, Danny and I both have Ring in our deck for what it's worth. Oh, and there's also a Mystic Tomato in here. Dark Hole goes back. Yeah. It's just the best card in the hand. It's just the best yeah. card in the hand. Okay. All right, now duo. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do it first, then figure out if you want to do it. That'd be so sad. It would be sad. I don't have it, so don't. It's Thank okay. God. You can you can live your life. It's fine. Hey. Um, hey. So I will summon uh, Zambira the Dark and pass it sure. back. All right. Um, that's probably Tomato. I'm imagining. Uh, the face down is Ring or Saku. Uh, let's let's bait the all the face down, hoping that. It's oh Saku. my God! Right. Whoa! Yep. Oh, that one coming. Yeah, you can activate it to kill Zambira. Yeah. In fact, you have to. I believe. You have to. You must. Yeah, you must. And we will hit in. This is Actually, a pretty sweet hit tricked. for Danny. It was New Doria. Oh. Uh, Oh no, I've been owned. Roll a okay. die. Uh, you gotta roll, roll your die. dice though. See oh, I... oh, are you ready to see lose you can roll the a game? Three. Are you Let's ready see. to lose the game? Oh, it does I'm target. Ready. All right, so a three wins, it does right? Does target. <gasps> 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 wow. That's crazy. Sorry, that I'm betting. Sorry that I'm a skillful player. They... Oh my god. Wow, you really made it into finals activating duo sentry <laughs> and then rolling a three, huh? Damn, how do you get uh -huh. this good? Bait Doll's a weird piece of spell and trap removal because it sucks so bad, but it's suddenly very good because everyone has Sakuretsu. Yeah, I put it back into my list. I've been playing it on and off. I put it back into the list now that Saku and Bottomless um, are both around because it can it can gild both of them. And even forcing a Regeki break before it's best is, like, fine. Yeah. So we'll pass. Are you just trying right, to burn so her out? Have... Yeah. Right, so <laughs> I don't know you why have... you wanted Archfiend on the field. I take 900. This is basically wave motion cannon. I guess? It's question mark? Um, all right. So, uh, but does wave motion cannon roll a dice to protect itself? Uh, Thank God not. The face down probably it could be a tomato. And there's probably a Saku in my future as well. So, let's summon giant orc. Get in with the Archfiend. Sure. This is interesting. Like, I don't even know how much I like this, right? Like, the Giant Orc doesn't necessarily demand a response if Danny's got uh, another piece of interaction or another monster in hand. And the Archfiend is actively just killing Leo, right? I got plenty of turns of it. Five? Mm, a little bit more than that. Danny has two ring. So, so you've got ring, zero. A rogue ring could kill me theoretically. Oh! <laughs> uh, that is fascinating. Okay, we will uh, have my dude die. Um, I'm dinking here. Yeah, my that's fine. my body. Take okay. the fifteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take the fifteen for my shitty orc. All right. Um, I will set one in main two and then pass it back. Damn. If you try to target my Archfiend with your scientist effect, I could negate it. Oh, true. That's not true, by the way. <laughs> I, I am joking. Uh, we'll just put this bad boy to defense. Wow, it doesn't even want to get in for the 300. Just kidding. I'm going to do it now. Oh, this is so cute. He's going to go for Ryu Senshi, so she can't chain it to the Nobleman of Extermination. Correct. Oh, that's adorable! And you could crash the Senshi. You don't even need another one. Uh, I will Book of Moon here. So Ooh. it negates spells that target it. Since Magical Scientist already changed battle position, I guess if there's anything stupid happening, 
getting rid of scientists is theoretically the best thing. So I'll flip it down. Good about all the time. All right, sure. Happy to see my dude dead. <laughs> <laughs> I will summon my new one Doria. One. <laughs> and in battle phase, I will clean up the scientist. Sure. All right. And I will set one more and pass it back. Damn, Leah. You killed the scientist? That was a real cold play. <laughs> no. You, do you get it? Is it is it a reference to Cold Wave? No, it's a reference to the no, song I, The I, Scientist I, by Coldplay. Is that like a song? Holy shit. <laughs> none of you are none of you are cultured at all. I will keep my references to anime OPs so as to better cater to my audience. Uh, we must be like on a rust server because we're really bonking each other with rocks. All right, let's see. So the face <laughs> just down, like ignore it totally. Face down. <laughs> Come on, Leah. <laughs> Since it's still face down, I'm thinking maybe it's like library or something. Uh, Kaiku? Oh! Sure. Okay, battle phase. Let's hit yeah. it. Oh, okay. Spy. That's okay. a good rip. I take 200. Nudoria trades with Spy, which is really funny, but also killing one of the Spies would be completely fine by me. So I think in main two, I'll set it to defense, and then I'll pass it back. Ooh, Leah, I'm sorry. No. I'm really good at this game, actually. Oh! Okay. All right. <laughs> Damn. You you really, uh, you really, uh, you know, you really, uh... You know, Bob? Danny. Give her the golem. Give her the golem, Danny. <laughs> I know you have the golem. Give her the golem. Get in the golem, Sinji. Golem would rock, actually. Holy fuck. Golem would be so good on this board. <laughs> golem would be actually disgusting here. Perhaps since we don't play League of Legends anymore and put them in the pizza is no longer like a totally relevant reference. What if we use put them in the Ava? Put them in the Ava. Put them in the Ava. Put them in the Ava. Ooh, I, I, like, I like for the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Put them in the Golem cage. Put them in the kink cage. <laughs> You told me to drown when I made that joke last episode. <laughs> well, it's now now it's it's retro. Now it's ironic. Oh, oh, oh true, 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 true. <laughs> oh, the thirty minute think pass. All right. That's that's the Guadalupe special. All right. Well, uh Zambira the Dark, I guess. <laughs> you said um, that with the exact same inflection as uh cheesed to meet you? At first when you said Zambira the Dark, I thought Zambira was a different card from the Dark. I will Zombira the Dark. So I'm gonna write <laughs> Geki Break the back row. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. It is uh my body as a shield. You have the correct read. Danny, did you pull no. a mirror force? That was a long time ago. Have we just not seen it? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. You think I wouldn't? I would be amazing. Mirror force every the, set? There's there's somebody like sitting on a treasure trove of old, like amazing cards that they're like <laughs> <laughs> in 32, I will finally break out my monster reborn. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be me with confiscation. Yeah. Oh, apparently, yeah. Were you playing it this so, week, by the way? You... I was not playing confiscation. I am going to kill you! I'm going to kill you! I'm trying to kill you! Do you Danny. have any other responses, to Danny, or can I, I said, continue? I, no, you're good. Go. Okay. So, battle phase will die to Sakuratsu armor. Whoa. Okay. I feel like you just oh, orc. Okay. Wow, that's very strange. Oh, and pass. Okay, orc what? pass. That makes sense. This is a sweet wall. Yeah, I kind of don't want to take the a thousand to clear it. All right. Um, more like giant snork. No, that's no. <laughs> more like giant fork. Uh, that's, that's that's closer. <laughs> That's closer. <laughs> More like giant SM orc. Oh yeah, okay, we're getting there. Yeah, All right. Bad, actually. Giant that's not orc. bad. That's close. More like giant pork. Kind of looks like a pig. <laughs> More like giant dork. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the. That's the one. one. That's the one. Yep. Pack it up. I like the giant orc is wearing human pants. Like he's got a belt buckle and khakis on. <laughs> because of Danny's double ring, I'm actually really concerned about my life points. Damn. It's almost like we should ban Ring of Destruction. 
Probably <laughs> incoming at some point, yeah. Unironically, Danny's won three in a row, and his deck is just an amalgamation of completely unfair bullshit. It's got, like, Dark Hole. It's got uh, Double Ring of yeah. Destruction. I mean, there's yeah. just a lot we would have to hit. I think if Danny wins this week, this will be the week that we got Danny's deck finally. I think we haven't been gutting what? Danny's deck because we were... What are you talking about? Danny, I've you've won three in a row. Week. How? Your, I, your Dark Hole and your Rings have banned. survived. Paul no. the Haunted got banned. So wait, it's like, true. Got got it's true that, oh, that's fair. That's it's fair. true that Danny's deck got oh. gutted, but we had no hits that are pointedly at exactly Danny, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Pyramid Turtle Pentastorm is a hit. is a pointed ban at me. No, and me, because I had Heavy Storm. You had you had one. I had two. God, I can't believe you had well, two. No, fucking no, sorry, sorry. Storm. Okay, just just disre disregard the language that I put it in. What I'm trying to say is that if Danny wins, then like stuff like Dark Hole may finally be off the table for him. But let, let's play. Let's play. Yeah. I see the mind games, Leah. Get everyone to forget about how you duo sentry. <laughs> <turn one. laughs> that, that, that is very, that is true. Clever. That is true. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my games are like I have to actually think about what I'm doing, and uh, you know it's like a good. Pre I actually enjoy these games because they're pretty good pieces of Yu-Gi-Oh. Fuck, man, Danny, he's he's so good, man. He just he has so many broken cards. Wow, you're really you're yeah. really uh you're really writing yourself a lot of checks after flipping Skill Drain and killing me in one turn. That was so cool, well, man. So I, it was it was just a lot of skill on your part to draw the Skill Drain. Oh, ban skill drain. I don't give a fuck. Skill, well, I skill can't. drain is funny since it removes skill from the game. Oh. <laughs> you take 600. <laughs> what is the target? Um, oh, shit. Get rid of Zambira. Leah, you can banish cards if you want under Kaiku. Holy shit, I can. Oh, yeah. uh, sure. Yeah. I, I guess will I'll let you know it does not matter for my deck. But Hell yeah. yeah. That's what That's I like fun. to hear. Get rid of this. Get rid of my anger. Ooh, <laughs> Easy. Easy. Where's your Call of the Haunted now? <laughs> yeah, nice try, Danny. <laughs> the real Kaiku was the week that Leah lost. Uh, Zombira the Dark again. Oh, you know, that was, uh, sure. Bottomless. Nope. Right. Go to my battle phase. Mm-hmm. All right, let's attack the spy. Oh, wow, she's still I'm not going to take the okay. thousand. Wow. Hmm. A good card. That's an interesting one. I didn't want to turn oh. in the new Doria in case there was like a Saku or something. Oh. Uh, probably it was still fine, but. I am really, really concerned about life points this one, actually. And Danny is not, clearly. I think I do now. <gasps> Doo -doo. I take 300. I will put Nudoria in attack mode using his effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. The special I'll ability. Summon... The special ability, yeah. Uh, Mystic Tomato. Sure. Okay, move to battle phase. Mm -hmm. Let's attack with tomato into the orc okay all right i just wanted to make sure that went through i will pass it back oh wow i'm so scared of this back row what the fuck is it all right all right everybody are you ready yeah return of the best card in the game return of the king by jrr tolkien normal summon jiraguma <laughs> Ooh, no thank you <laughs> the more Bye. things change the more they also <laughs> stay the same well, well, I do think it's finally time to get rid of, uh, to pop this new Doria. So I will attack into uh, Elf. Okay, take 800. I will pop the Elf. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's hilarious, actually. Uh, tomato is going to go to defense. Damn, sure. are you activating then... the special ability of Mystic Tomato? <laughs> This is my favorite meme from the series. I'll set a card and I'll pass it back. This All right, is, uh, Danny, a little hmm. afraid to do the Dark Elf thing. And go to what 800 to do nothing? I, I die to literally um, any... If you draw ring, I die. <laughs> Does Leah have ring too? Yes. Both of you motherfuckers yeah, have I, ring? Yeah. I have one ring of destruction as well. Yeah. Oh my god. Jeez. I'm banning that card. <laughs> <laughs> get, get it out of here fuck that <laughs> stupid ass card so let's so let me think a little bit here so you have exactly one face down let's pass it back riveting gameplay 
my own Zombira. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Tomato's a big problem. What can she go into? Does she have a Spirit Reaper, do we know? So, she could go into... I don't know if she pulled two Nudorias, but she could go into the second one if she did pull it. And it was a rare. It wasn't hard. And, of course, we've probably drawn into our Sakus by now, or Book of Moons. I kind of like the theory that, like, Leah has Book of Moon, but is waiting for you to commit to a Dark Elf attack to flip it. Yeah, that's really good. Like, in response to an attack deck, you take a thousand, and she now it's off forever. She books. Like, there's no way she's not playing another fucking book i mean i can risk an attack with zombira but if i'm gonna get book of moon do it on your own turn i'm pleased to announce this portion of the video now exceeds all other portions put together <laughs> awesome. uh, normal gri guma damn yep i will activate skill drain yeah oh Ooh. my god that's a big one yeah all right battle phase Sure. Guma will attempt to kill the elf. Sure. Finally, guaranteed Guma flips. Damn, did you probably should still be uh activating the Flipping effect of Guma. to see what would happen. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. would have happened had Oh damn. I'm well, too <laughs> you're just too good. If I if I call it right, I gain life points, right? Yeah. Really important right now. <laughs> All right, go for it, Leah. Let me see the win. Okay. Right. No flopping idea what the face down is here. Uh, let's summon. Oh God, you would have you would have done ring if it was ring. Let's put everything to attack, I guess, and mm -hmm. summon new Doria. Mirror Force. Got it. Yo! <laughs> the right. forty-minute game concludes. Oh my oh. God! Whoa, that's that's very Three painful. My bodies. Curse is very of the good. body. I understand why you're on it, but it doesn't make it feel any less painful. Well, the skill drain finals is finished, and Leah has come out on top. Leah, how are you feeling about your victory? I would say that it was very skill-less. <laughs> this deck is stupid. Yeah, you, you did a great job uh, drawing Delinquent Duo Game 1, and then uh, you did a great job having bigger beaters than Danny Game 3. I really applaud you. Um, I would, just, I would just like to make an impassioned plea to the banners. Please, I'm begging you to ban Duo. I have wanted Duo gone for so, so long. Getting it out of my deck. This card is so unfun, and I hate having to play it. Um, I don't know. Ban whatever you want. If, the, if there's a better card to ban, I totally understand that. But I would love to see Duo go. <laughs> Uh, I think you are speaking for the crowd here. Um, on that note, uh, we'll begin with Brent. Brent, do you know what card you want to ban? I think I'm going to ban Skill Drain. Yeah! yeah! Thank God, thank God. And the I reason for that, I'm so happy The reason about that. for that is because it, it does cuck a lot of our flip effects that we have in our meta at the moment. Um, I don't foresee it, or I, I foresee it being more problematic as we progress through the series. Um... Uh, oh, there was one more thing. Um, oh, uh, um, it's very similar to um, Imperial Order, yeah. uh, is the way yeah. that I see it. Um, however, I think Imperial Order was a little bit more of an issue because we really relied on spell cards. I don't necessarily think um, Skill Drain Ungabunga Beats will be very long, or have a very long lifetime in the upcoming sets. However, um, the the two top decks did win with skill drain and yeah, Bunga Bunga. Yep. <laughs> So I mean, th there is that. Um, I also want to add, Brent, that I really hate what the existence of skill drain does to deck building. There's a lot of cool flip monsters and effect monsters now that like are so much fun. Like magical scientist, uh, sorry, magical scientist is really fun, but like magical merchant, like all of the. There's just so many cool monsters that I want their effects to happen, and I hate that Skill Drain makes it worse to put them in your deck, even when you're not playing Skill Drain. And for what it's worth, Skill Drain is good in current day Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like, this card yeah. isn't ever going to be bad, bad. It will always be on the periphery of playable, and I'm glad we are rid of it. I'm honestly, even though I won playing it, I only activated it at one time, but I, I am glad to see it gone. I very much do not want to play this deck again. All right, and we have one other individual making their 
they're and we have one other individual banning making their first entry into the ring of losers gavin what would you like to hit i will ban regeki break no i am going to kick you Whoa, out are you fucking dude. kidding me gavin <laughs> oh my bastard. god oh my god so oh, no <laughs> what what i like about this is it's clearly bad for the format it's clearly bad for the game. It's going to lead to a ton of unfun board states, but Gavin's doing it because he wants to win more in worse ways. I take back making Gavin ban a card. I take it back. Nobody make him ban a card ever again. Gavin I mean, I was expecting Leo. this. I was like, Gavin's going to ban Geki Break so he can go back to playing, like, Vengeful Bog Spirit Minor Goblin Official Control. But, like, I don't know. It just... If your priority in these is to drag us all into the realm of unfun Hell world it's yeah to like... drag us down into the grave if you will oh boy i gotta take the spell and trap removal out of the game yeah dude it's <laughs> it's gonna be great i really appreciate having you in here it's uh it's re real fun all right uh next set uh we're gonna throw all skill to the winds if you thought the skill drain format had a lack of skill just wait until one of us opens said um ioc is one of the defining packs in Yu-Gi-Oh history and i guess we will see what we come up with bye